Our next guest is the star of a very funny show starring her very funny self. Season three of The Ms. Pat Show premieres tomorrow on BET+. Plus. Say hello to Ms. Pat. <laughs> Good to have you here. Should I call you Ms. Pat or? Oh, just Pat. Pat is good? Okay. We met at a, a party at Norman Lear's 100th birthday Birth party. And I was so excited. I prayed to God, and I don't pray a lot now. I do believe. I was like, Lord, please don't let Norman Lear pull a Betty White and die. <laughs> <laughs> Because I wanted to meet you, Jimmy. Oh, for that? That's why. Oh. Yes. Well, <laughs> um, thanks on behalf of both me and Norman, I guess. <laughs> it was Thank great you, to Norman, meet you. Thank you, for staying alive and awake that night. Yes, that's right. <laughs> you were so funny that night, and I came up to you, and we just started talking, and now here we are. Here we are. And I remember the food at that party. It was horrible. It was very bad. <laughs> yeah, it was very bad. I hate Hollywood party because they like to feed thick people like me food that look like Tic Tac. <laughs> <laughs> so I left and went to the Shake Shack with my girlfriend. You did. <laughs> I couldn't agree with you more. I even remember what it was. It was like those little, you know, they're I supposed to be like little, about it. little I, chops. And I usually steal when I'm at party, put food in my uh, pocketbook to take it back to the hotel. You do. I left all of that mess. <laughs> Do you wrap it in uh, napkins? No, I just put it in my chest you and stay warm. Okay. <laughs> you know I'm built heavy. You had, a, you had a very, uh, I mean, like truly a difficult life, a, a very tough life. I know, you know, a bit about your history. You had two kids at a very young age. Yes. How old were you when you had both? I had kids? two kids by the time I was 15 by a married man. Got shot a couple times, lost a nip in the drive-by, went to jail for selling cocaine. Got out, and here I am now. Only thing I'm missing. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm missing. I'm missing two things, Jimmy. What are you a missing? A nipple and back teeth. Wait, what? A nipple and, and back, back teeth? teeth? Yeah. Oh, we can get you a nipple. <laughs> yeah, no problem at what all. What about the back teeth? <laughs> well, the teeth, they're gonna have to be fake. But yeah, no nipples, we got tons of around okay. here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm and in the right place. How did you turn this? Think this negative into a positive, into uh, becoming a comedian. My caseworker, uh, Bill Clinton, that was the first time I ever voted for a Democrat. I'm a big Democrat because of Bill. <laughs> My caseworker, I went through the welfare work program and she told me that I was funny. And wow. she just kept pushing me. She was like, you're a convicted felon. You don't want to go to school to be a nurse. Too many drugs. You should... <laughs> 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 You know I'm an ex-drug dealer. There's, no, there's no drugs in comedy, so that's a pretty safe place to be. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm an eater, not a user. I see, okay. So you were encouraged by her, and you decided, yeah, I'm gonna go give this a try. Because I kept getting fired from every job that I had. Everybody what jobs? Was... What jobs did you have? That... One of the jobs I worked at was McDonald's. Okay. And so I'm working at McDonald's one day. Believe it or not, I'm still not the register because that was my side gig. <laughs> Don't, ju don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> Baby need pampers. Uh, well, listen, you're right. <laughs> so I'm standing out the register one day, and in walked these police officers. Look, I mean, look, look like secret. I'm not, wasn't secret. Was secret, sir, but I thought it was my parole officer. And so I get ready to put the money back, and they say, it's clear, and in walked President Jimmy Carter. And what, I, into the McDonald's? Into the McDonald's. I'll never forget it, and, you know. At this time, I'm in a hood state of my life. And I looked at him, and I was like, he looked familiar. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy on the grill come around, he's like, Patricia, that's the president of the United States. And my crazy self said, I knew I knew who you was, N-word. <laughs> you said that to Jimmy Carter? And how did he react? <laughs> he said, I'm gonna take a side salad, a water, and a cheeseburger. <laughs> and I said, Ink Word is free, you the president. <laughs> <laughs> and did he pay? Or did he no, pay? No, he any? didn't pay. He did not pay. <laughs> wow. I would have took his money. <laughs> <laughs> But I didn't let him pay. And now that he's uh, going through what he's going through, everybody he's in keeps... He's hospice now, he's yeah. In everybody keep tagging me. I'm like, y'all, I didn't know him. I just called him the N-word. <laughs> 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 well, you know what? I'm sure, he pre I'm sure he found it refreshing, probably. He probably didn't hear that a whole lot. I... 
So you are. He's a... from the South. He heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he might. He might didn't say it, but he heard it, Jimmy. Was everybody stealing from the cash register at McDonald's? When it was their turn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was my turn that day. <laughs> and I met a superstar. Did you have other petty crimes that you would uh, use to make well, money? I used to forge white people checks, and then I stopped that. Uh -huh. And then I got in, I moved, I got married and moved to Indiana, and I got into a, a really white neighborhood. And they had a coupon club that they, they, I got into, and they put me out of it. What do you mean? So it's these women in my neighborhood, white women in my neighborhood, they're very organized with their notebooks and they keep their coupon. They know they're gonna hit Walmart on Tuesday and clear the shelves out. And I got into the club, but I wanted to ball my coupon up like dope money. So they said I wasn't organized. You, oh, you, you're not neat enough for the coupon club. So then they asked you to leave the... Yeah, because I kept balling it up with a rubber band, sticking it in my chest. Uh-huh. <laughs> you can't treat coupons like that. It's, well, yeah. <laughs> Where I'm from, people, you know, steal from you. So my mama said, if you put it up top, it's hard to snatch this off of you. Uh, that's good advice, yeah. Do you, uh, are these, you know, speaking of your mother, these characters on your show, are they modeled, like, uh, for real, off of your family? About 99%, yeah. yes. <laughs> And do you go to your family members and ask um, permission to tell their stories? No. You do not. <laughs> no. I help pay their bills now. <laughs> well, in a way, you're buying their stories. <laughs> so, I have a gay daughter, right? And uh -huh. her girlfriends look like rappers with no money. And <laughs> they really do. So How many girlfriends does she have? She have one every other year. Oh, really? OK. And I told her, you can't, you can't invite nobody to Thanksgiving until they get past the four-year mark. So she got one for two years. She might make it, Jimmy. Not this year, but yeah, maybe. No, next, she got like another year to go. <laughs> <laughs> so how many kids do you have? I have um, four kids, and I have custody of my niece for crack babies. Oh, wow. I don't know if they was born on crack, but the mama was, so I just call them all crack babies. Yeah, and they... <laughs> so you have eight children. Well, they're grown. My youngest is 24, but the youngest of the crack baby is nine. Oh, wow. Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> the yeah. crack baby. Do they like being called, the, like, the crack babies? <laughs> well, they don't watch our show. They don't know They I don't know that. that <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is really what? something else, I have to say. I can't call them born on substance, so I just say crack. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're just being straight, yeah. And did, the, did any of these people, like, from the old days, from McDonald's or from the Coupon Club or whatever, ever reach out to you and go, like, hey, remember me? Sometime, but I'm like, no, I don't remember you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need none of my past coming back. <laughs> well, congratulations. I'm glad things worked out so well for you. I mean, things are going great. We're in the third season of the Miss Pat Show. Third season, yeah. season three. Yeah. Miss Pat Show premieres tomorrow on BET Plus. And if you want to see Miss Pat live, uh, tickets for her stand up comedy tour, you can go to MissPatComedy.com. Thank you, Miss Pat. Thank we'll you. be right back with the logic. <laughs>